Oh my god, it's a face reveal! Like, technically, it is. <laughs> I have posted my face on the internet before. I've been posting TikToks for about a year or something. But this is the first time that I've posted my, my likeness on YouTube. And there's actually a very good reason as to why it's my face and not, you know, my artwork or something. Whew! Father, son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. If you are new here, hello, hello. My name is Adam. My pronouns are currently he, they. And yes, I did put on this outfit just to record this video. And if you have been here before, thank you so much for sticking around because boy, have you had to stick around. <laughs> It seems as though my last video was April 2nd of 2021, and I think nothing's more hilarious than the fact that I made this whole coming back video and then didn't come back, really. Um, it's been about a year since I last posted, and needless to say, a lot has happened in that time. If you're only... Did a helicopter have to fly by at this time? I'm talking about my feelings. If you're only following me on YouTube, then you might be a little bit out of the loop about what's been happening. So I'm going to try and keep this as brief as humanly possible, while also not leaving out any crucial details to the narrative, to the plot that is my life within the past year. <laughs> Cue the dramatic music editing me. It was a stormy night in Massachusetts. <laughs> Flashback to April 2nd of 2021. I had just posted my I'm back video and at this point I'm very eager to keep posting again and so I throw myself right into my work. I immediately start working on this like intricate piece with a background and my main OC from Little Things, Carter. And I'm also doing long, 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 long overdue commissions at that time. I was also working on an artwork, like gift for a friend at that time. Not to mention I was also working on my webcomic at the same time. <laughs> and I was editing and doing other things like in my personal life. I was doing a lot at once. And what a fool I was to think that I could do it all. But I tried nonetheless. And so, in a futile attempt to achieve everything, I would spend eight to 10 hours at my desk at a time working on artwork and other things with it. And to make a long story short, I gave myself a really, really bad repetitive strain injury. How bad was this repetitive strain injury? Well, <laughs> Funny story! It was so bad at that time that I could not open and close my hand. And so naturally, when you can't use your dominant hand, for me that's my right hand, you start to use your left hand for everything that you didn't use it for before. And so what ended up happening was I got a repetitive strain injury in not just my dominant hand, but in my non-dominant hand too. So I was essentially an armless man. And now I know what you're thinking. How long did it take you to recover? Like a week? Like, you know, a month? Maybe a couple months at most? Well, I think to fully capture the essence of how things have been going within the past year, uh, a TikTok I made recently sums it up best. Roll the clip. If you've been following me for a while now, uh, you would know that I'm an artist. And about a year ago, I gave myself a repetitive strain injury in both of my arms. And uh, it affects from my hands to my shoulders. So like both arms, like all the way up. And to make a long story short, sometimes it Fire! sucks. <laughs> And today is one of those days. I woke up in the morning, I ate something for breakfast, and I went right back to bed. And uh, it is now 
6.36 p.m. as I record this. So I've slept all day because I literally can't do anything else. When I tell you that it prevents me from doing what feels like everything, I truly do mean it. It prevents me from scrolling on my phone, texting, playing video games, you know, scrubbing the floor, doing the dishes, brushing my teeth, like anything that requires any kind of movement in my arms sometimes. Hurts like a lot, actually. <laughs> and it's hard to do anything or get anything done in terms of like actual being productive and uh, even in terms of entertainment. So what I have to do a lot of the time is just lie down and do nothing. I'm not sure if I have the right to call it a disability, but what I can say is it affects me every single day to varying degrees and everyone around me is tired of hearing me complain about being in pain all of the time. <laughs> and that's all there is to this video. Um, I feel like Fire! but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, TikTok Adam, and I'm sorry that you were going through such a terrible time. So yeah, uh, this past year has been, needless to say, very difficult. And there were many times where I could not do anything. <laughs> and I've learned as a neurodivergent individual whose mind is bouncing off the walls at all times, not helped buy coffee. It's really hard for me to not do anything as a creative outlet. It's been interesting. <laughs> it's been interesting. It's been interesting. <laughs> and so, needless to say, not only are, were, are basic tasks very difficult to do sometimes, I also cannot draw really. Um, within the last couple of months, I've begun drawing more comfortably, but only in my sketchbook. Um, for some reason or another, it's more painful and difficult to do it digitally on my computer. And so that has almost entirely full stopped. And as a result, I haven't really posted anything on the internet that's art related because I can't make art. <laughs> So I've pretty much been forced to throw myself into, like, TikTok, self-love, self-discovery, pretty much it. But all of that being said, because I am slowly but surely starting to heal, I do desperately, desperately want to start posting on YouTube once again. However, comma, I don't know exactly what I would post considering my circumstances. The only YouTube video ideas I have at the moment are doing a sketchbook tour and showing some old, old crusty drawings from when I was like in middle school or something. But anything else is beyond me. If you have any ideas <laughs> for what I could post that is art related, but not me actually drawing, good luck. Please give me ideas. <laughs> I need them. So, I don't know how much I will post on here, if at all. Um, I mean, I am frequently posting on TikTok. I'm going to attempt to post more frequently on Instagram and on Twitter. But my main priority at the moment, and for the past year really, is just healing. This is where I start getting emotional. <laughs> Cue the sad music. <laughs> I've been posting my artwork on the internet since I was like 15. So this was back in my DeviantArt days. And I remember at that time I would get one or two likes on my post, sometimes absolutely zero, um, but I would keep posting very frequently. And I think as an artist I learned this behavior that I was mimicking from other content creators just in general, even outside of the art world. Uh, that I was seeing online and a lot of us do this thing where we apologize for not posting frequently or for making a mistake in the content that we create or something like that. I remember I would post things like, oh my god, I'm so sorry I haven't posted today 
or oh please excuse that this little mistake that I made or I'm so sorry for doing this I'm so sorry and I think as content creators and as artists a lot of us need to unlearn that behavior and stop doing it because I don't feel that it's healthy because when you say I'm sorry that I made this drawing mistake I'm sorry that I'm not posting I'm sorry that I got injured you are putting other people before yourself every single time and it's this thinking that led me to injure myself in the first place because I wasn't thinking about myself at the time I was thinking oh I'm gonna disappoint this person who I'm doing this commission for. I'm gonna disappoint the people that are waiting on my webcomic, disappoint the people that are waiting to see another video. I'm gonna disappoint my friend if I don't finish this gift artwork. I'm going to make people think that I'm lazy. I'm gonna make people think that I'm not working hard enough. I was thinking only about other people and not about the fact that my pain was increasing every day. And I had to learn the hard way that I need to put myself first because the sad truth is that um, this injury that I have might be permanent and there's no way to know until time passes because it's been a year and I still experience pain every day. <sighs> there is a wise message I learned from a wise woman. Don't make noises when I'm being emotional! There is a wise message that I learned from a wise woman by the name of Barbie. And in Barbie's vlog on YouTube, if, I, if it's still up then I will link it, she made this whole video talking about how a lot of us are programmed to say sorry for things that we shouldn't be sorry for. And she said that rather than saying sorry, we should say thank you. And so, if you're a new follower, thank you for being here. If you got here from my TikTok or from my Twitter or my Instagram or anywhere else, thank you. If you're someone who's been following me for a long time, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. Bye. If you're someone who has been encouraging me for the past year, if you're someone who's left me DMs asking if I was okay or asking how my injury is doing, if you've stuck by me for all this time, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I'm going to stop before I cry. <laughs> so all in all, yes, I'm going to attempt to come back. I don't know. Thank you, Car. I don't know exactly what I will be doing, be posting. Maybe this is gonna be another scenario where I post this video and then don't post for another year. But if you do really want to keep up to date with me, the place that I post the most at this time is definitely TikTok. And all of my social media links will be in the description. If you're a little baby artist watching this, please don't do what I did. There is no project no artwork piece, no homework, no- nothing is worth injuring yourself this badly. And if you find yourself in a scenario where you have to choose between putting yourself first or putting someone else first, always put yourself first. Please take care of yourself, drink water, take your medicine if you need to take your medicine, Drink some coffee if you can take it. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant though, so don't listen to me. And I believe that that's all I have to say for it today. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Alright. I think that's good. 34 minutes, oh my god. I've really just been stalling this whole time because I'm uh, horrified, <laughs> to be quite honest. But it's fine. <sighs> Let me take a sip. Let me take a sip of my caramel frappe. Fun fact, 
um, I help my parents pay the bills. <laughs> and I made a joking comment about how uh, I wanted a caramel frappe as payment. Uh, and then I actually got one. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm living lavish. <laughs> and I got a hash brown. So I really can't complain. Drink some water. You're fine. Everything's fine. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, start again. It's okay. Um. Colombia, te quiero tanto. Okay. <laughs>